Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a music visualizer. As a warning, this is going to be a bit flashy, so if you have issues with flashing lights, probably not the best video for you. I will give another warning once we actually do demonstrate the visualizer, so if you want to stay around for seeing how it's set up, but then jump out later, that's also perfectly fine, but just as a warning, there will be flashing lights. Now, first off, we'll go over here, where we have our video. This is music by Buried Alive, which is a pretty nice band that I like. And we, in order to use it, we just quickly select the video player, click on to open Inspector in your context menu, go all the way to the root of it, and then under Video Asset, you'll find the Video Asset pro uh, Video Texture Provider. For audio that is not video based, you'll have to find the audio clip player. The fastest way to usually find exactly what you need is going to the audio output of the thing and then under source, you can find what exactly is making the sound, which is exactly what we'll need over here in the volume sampler, which is a, just an empty slot that I call volume sampler, where we'll click attach components and then add a component of type media utility volume meter as well as a Visium Analyzer. And then in order to hook it up, we'll grab the source from here, which is the video texture provider, hook it up into the source over here. And that's going to actually make it so if this makes any sound, we'll see it relay over here. Now, next, we need to actually access this data. The way we access it is by using the flux tip to grab the volume field here, opening our context menu and clicking onto source, which generates a little note here that allows us to get the value. Now, by default, this is set to a power of one, but personally, I usually like to set it down to like 0.5, which makes the volume actually a bit higher than what it actually is in terms of magnitude. However, Ideally, you just play around with the power and find something that works nicely for yourself. Now, in order to make the volume also a bit more distinct when it's going up and down, I personally usually like to use a multiply, which is found in operators, mol, value multiply, value mol, where we get the float version and then just multiply the volume by the volume. Now what this does is if the volume is low, it's going to actually be a lot lower. And if it's high, it's going to be a lot higher. Now the difference there is that what this does is when the volume changes up and down, that change is going to be a lot stronger. So when we're driving lights with this, it's actually going to be a lot more visually different. Next, we're going to be needing a color, which we can simply get from the core category, and then under input, value input, and we'll need a color X. Then we need to give this a color. These are, by the way, R, G, B, A, respectively, so red, blue, green, and alpha. We'll just give this one and one, and now we have yellow, and we'll make it solid too. Then we're going to need another multiplier. However, instead of going back to the multiplier area, we'll just hover over the node, that is the multiply node, press secondary on it, and that'll simply get us the node into our selection where we can once again double press it in order to generate it. Now, when you have a node that has a variant that is valid with a certain data type, you can just hook it up like this and it'll automatically convert to the right type, which is pretty neat and saves you some time when working with a lot of the same type of nodes, but with different data types. Now, next, we can simply grab this here and hook it up into this value grab in the middle here to make a relay to more cleanly also get up into the other value and now we'll see that our colors here are set to 000 and 000 
Next, we're going to need, be needing to hook up the intensity. And what we're going to be doing for intensity is actually we're going to be making another multiply, grab the existing volume that we already multiplied by volume, and multiplying that by 25. Depending on the song and your setting of the power and such, you'll have to play around a bit with finding out what works nicely for you, for your specific effect that you're looking for. But for the effect I'm going for, which is a bit more flashy, 25 is going to work really nicely. So then we hook this up into the value down here and down here, which is going to control the lights for the world. And then we're simply going to click play on the song. And if everything works right, as you can see, it starts flashing a little bit. And if we look over here on the Visim Analyzer, you can see that it's actually changing these little areas here, which you could use to more, to more differently color your world, for example, add some more dynamicism to your visualization. But for now, that is as much as you can really use for visualizers. We can just currently use volume and Visim analyzers. In the future, we might have fast Fourier transforms. That is something that I know is being worked on, but for now, we sadly do not have them yet. I hope this helped you, and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.